Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Racer Star uh, RS40 Amp ESC. This is the version 2 and I believe they're the Kikata clones. Also like the 30 amp version. Now this does come D-Shot ready so you can run D-Shot 600 out of the box with no modification. It runs a 2 to a 5S LiPo which is awesome. And um, what else? It's a 40 amp continuous current and a 45 amp burst for up to 10 seconds. Up to, that doesn't mean 10 seconds so... Yeah, just take, be careful with that. And like I said, it's running the BB2 chip and BL Heli S software. So let's just take a look at it because uh, this is all that it comes with, just like this inside an anti-static bag. Uh, we do we do get some nice fat ceramic capacitors, which is always good. So we get one, two, three, four, five. We get five of those. Yep, we got five of those. And uh, looking at the back side here, okay, here's a BB2 chip. And we got one tantalum capacitor. This will reduce the high frequency noise. It's like a little low ESR capacitor in sort of way. So that's good. Um, however, I'm not going to be able to put this on a build because I only just bought one. Because, um, yeah, I just got a lot of other things that were just uh, for you guys that were kind of expensive. Which was the AirBots and the iPikas and the iFlight. And I also got the Asgard. And, and I got all those for you guys. So uh, the budget was just basically annihilated so <laughs> I just started getting one ESC a bunch of different kind of brands just to uh, we can do some review on them so I'm not going to be able to put this on a build uh, maybe later on I can get three more and then we can just put it on a build and see how good they are but right now we're just going to do the testing that's uh, in my environment here and in, in the setup that I have so uh, enough talking uh, let's get started Alright guys, so this actually surprised me, um, this uh, ESC. I, I was not really expecting much from it. I was expecting something of the Racer Star 30 amp ESC uh, performance. So I went ahead and I compared it with the T-Motor F30 amp as you could see because the T-Motor is a little bit more expensive than this guy. So I said, hey, what the heck, I think they're going to be in the same area. And it turns out this guy is actually better than the T-Motor from a noise perspective, from voltage spike and voltage drop. Not by much, but the voltage drop is very noticeable as well as the noise. So um, I was going frame by frame and just noticing that this one was handling very well actually. So I started looking into it, why, 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 why is it so much better? So I mean, the T-Motor the I believe has more capacitors, but when you look at this without looking at another capacitor, you just go, oh, look, there's just capacitors. But when you actually bring in another another ESC to compare the size, it's a huge difference from height, width, and not length, but height and width. It's just, these are these are a lot bigger. So this is this is actually a very good ESC. I'm I'm very impressed. However, it's it's mostly rated for 5S. I mean, I'm, I think they made this to work with 5S. I don't know how it will perform on a 5S, but currently on a 4S, it's doing very good. Although it's noticeably uh, bigger than the others. Uh, not by much, but just, yeah, a little bit wider and a little bit bigger. Um, however, I'm actually very impressed with these, and um, I would buy these if I had to. Uh, I, I would choose these over the T-Motor also. So if I, if I had to choose between these and the T-Motor, I'd actually go with these. Now, um, in, in noise perspective, it was very good. I was actually very impressed. Um, I, I, I did not expect that, to be honest, at all. Um, I had low expectations for these guys, but they're actually holding up pretty well. So, yeah, so if, if you're thinking of getting these, um, go ahead and try them and let me know how they're going to work out for you because I only got one. So uh, maybe I'll buy three more now later on uh, and then I'll put them on a quad and test them, but they, they seem good, actually. Uh, they seem better than DYS XS too. So so this is uh, I don't know. I'm just speechless to be honest. I was, I was very surprised with this. 
Um, so yeah, they seem good right now on, on our tests and from the data that we have. But the real world scenario, reliability, um, I have no idea. So that'll come back to you guys. If anyone has been using them for a while, please leave you know, a message down in the comment and let me know how, how that's going for you. And I'll also get a pair of these and I'll stick them on a noisy build that I have. And then we'll see how good they are. If they really do hold up or not. Um, so yeah. So if I had to choose between T-Motor and this guy, I'd actually get this guy. Um, so yeah. And... I'm, I'm just actually I'm just uh, lost for words because uh, I did not expect this at all to be honest um, so these are good <laughs> that's all I could say now these actually seem pretty darn good um, so they're worth their $15 I think each so I, I would definitely get some of these um, I, I wouldn't think twice I, I would really jump on them so and really test them out I mean it, it won't hurt since with these results I'm, I'm, I'm actually I'm, I'm very impressed really so yeah, that's that's very good. So if you want some nice mid-range D-Shot 600 40 amp ESCs, get these. Why not? They seem actually very well, very good. And um, and that that's really it right now. That that's that's gonna conclude it for this video, guys. So I really hope it helps someone out there. And um, and and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, just feel free to let me know. And that's gonna conclude it for this video, guys. So um. Yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. See you guys.